space, that vast realm full of more mysteries than certainties, constantly taunting those researchers who peer through telescope lenses at the immeasurable emptiness that lies beyond our atmosphere. Although new discoveries are constantly being made thanks to the constantly improving technology that we have at our disposal, these discoveries do not always provide us with exact answers about space. In fact, frequently a new discovery means uncovering even more mysterious and unanswerable questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting space discoveries. Scientists suggest that octopus could be aliens. When talk turns to potential extraterrestrial life on Earth, most minds immediately jump to conspiracy theorists and science fiction plots. Few expect to read findings from the scientific community hinting at alien life. Yet that is exactly what has recently come to light, and not in the way that you would think. A scientific paper published in 2018 in the journal Progress in Biophysics and Molecular Biology attempts to explain the origins of life on Earth and makes some startling hypotheses about the octopus, suggesting that the unusual creature possesses a genome that may have gotten its start from somewhere outside of Earth. When studying the development of species, the octopus presents a unique set of problems, which is what has prompted scientists to look beyond Earth for answers. For most species, distinctive and especially unusual features evolved slowly over millions of years, and this progression can be more or less tracked through the species. However, the striking features of cephalopods, such as their large brains and sophisticated colour and shape-changing abilities, arrived relatively suddenly in the evolutionary gene pool. A huge leap such as this is especially unlikely in the more advanced characteristics of a highly developed species. These traits burst onto the scene hundreds of millions of years ago in what is known as the Cambrian Explosion where several modern-day animal groups suddenly began to exist in a form recognisable today. Nobody knows what exactly led to this event, although there are several theories. One possible explanation, specifically mentioned in the paper with regards to cephalopods, revolves around the cryopreserving ability of space, and suggests that a piece of space rock or comet hurtling towards Earth could have contained viable specimens of an early form of fertilised squid or octopus eggs, and released its contents as it crashed into our atmosphere, effectively merging extraterrestrial genes with the genomes on Earth. Another hypothesizes that alien viruses crashed to Earth in a similar manner and infected the genomes of a primitive version of the squid and caused the strange evolution into what we know as octopus today. This is not the first time such a theory has been suggested with regards to the evolution of life on Earth, as it is occasionally brought up as a potential explanation for the currently genetically unexplainable. However, such a theory rests entirely upon the assumption that life does exist elsewhere in the cosmos and that these life forms could have been transported across the vastness of space on a comet until they reached Earth. Understandably, hypotheses of this nature are impossible to prove and will likely remain just a hypothesis for the years to come. But the idea that we could be sharing our planet with creatures evolved from extraterrestrials is fascinating. The supermassive black hole at our galaxy's centre suddenly lit up. Black holes are an entity that many space fanatics are fascinated with, and Sagittarius A star is no exception. Despite the connotations of the name, a black hole is far from empty. In fact, on average, black holes contain roughly 10 times the matter of our Sun squeezed into an area roughly equal to that of New York City. This incredibly concentrated mass is one of the most massively dense areas in the universe and has such a large gravitational pull that nothing, not even light particles, can escape, creating the visual impression of a great emptiness. Because no light, electromagnetic or radio waves can escape a black hole, they can't be viewed with any telescope or imaging methods and the presence of a black hole must be deduced through studying the effect on its gravitational pull on nearby matter. As dust and gas are rapidly sucked in by this massive gravitational pull, a large amount of heat is generated, which gives off a flickering glow when viewed with an ultraviolet telescope. 
This vacuum-like phenomenon is called accretion, and the flaming disk around the mouth is known as the accretion disk. Residing at the galactic center of the Milky Way and measuring over 22 million kilometers wide, with a mass equal to that of 3.6 million suns, Sagittarius A star has been classified as a supermassive black hole by NASA. Within the past year, scientists have noticed that Sagittarius A star's accretion disk has begun flaring approximately 75 times brighter than it has in the 20 years since monitoring first began. Since space has existed for billions of years, it has established a pattern of relative constancy and predictability, so any change in behaviors of galactic bodies is noteworthy. Although researchers are unsure as to the exact reason why this accretion glow is so much brighter, they theorize that it could be that more gas is being sucked into the mouth, causing more heat to be generated. A second theory speculates that a large gaseous object named G2, which has been approaching Sagittarius A star since 2014, has finally been engulfed. However, these theories are unconfirmed and scientists admit they cannot definitively say why the glow has increased by such a large amount. Some acknowledge that the black hole could also potentially be expanding as it continues to suck matter in and increase its mass. Although black holes do not move around the galaxy and Sagittarius A star has been anchored in the same place for billions of years, as more and more matter folds into its mouth, the mouth will inevitably continue to expand. Currently classified as a supermassive black hole, perhaps the increased glow indicates that Sagittarius A star is well on its way to joining the ranks of the categorically ultra-massive. Nonetheless, at over 25,000 light-years away, it is safe to say that we have several million years before we have to be worried about our galaxy collapsing into the hungry mouth of Sagittarius A star. NASA launched an atomic clock into space. Atomic clocks have been hailed as the superior method of timekeeping since the 1950s due to their incredible accuracy even over extremely long periods of time. Where pendulums and quartz crystal clocks develop discrepancies and can vary between devices, atomic clocks use the frequency of electrons vibrating back and forth when exposed to radio waves, which is an almost impossibly precise method of measurement, and one that allows GPS satellites to pinpoint locations with nearly complete accuracy. These GPS satellites work by using an atomic clock to measure the amount of time it takes for a signal to travel between two points, a necessarily precise science in space travel where the difference of a single second can mean either landing on Mars or ending up hundreds of thousands of miles away. However, one limitation of the atomic clock is space. Each clock paired with a GPS satellite is about the size of a refrigerator and must remain on Earth where navigators use its measurements to triangulate the location of spacecraft and then communicate instructions to the astronauts on board. It is a time-consuming process and limits the distance of missions, as spacecraft must remain within range of the GPS satellites and Earth. An onboard atomic clock would mean that the astronauts could calculate their own trajectory, rather than relying on communication from Earth for direction. However, the current design of an atomic clock is too bulky and will not stand up to the changing environment of space travel, which limits the possibilities of astronauts exploring deep space. Until recently, there has been no reliable method for keeping time while outside of Earth's gravitational pull. In June of 2019, NASA placed their newly developed deep space atomic clock on a spacecraft to orbit Earth for a year. The deep space atomic clock was developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and has been in experimental orbit since June as they test its accuracy over extended periods of time outside of Earth's controlled environment. If the timekeeping remains unaffected by the conditions of space, the Deep Space Atomic Clock will be the first atomic clock with the design and functionality to pioneer expeditions in the cosmos. Current measurements estimate that the clock, which is powered through mercury-ion technology, is 50 times more stable than current atomic clocks on GPS satellites and will lose one second every 10 million years. If it upholds these measurements as it orbits on the spacecraft, Independent space travel could be much closer than we think.
Increasing technology has allowed us to increase our understanding of the galaxy and has answered many questions that were previously thought unanswerable. However, the longer we observe the cosmos around us and the further we venture into those mysterious depths, the more we realize how very little we truly understand and grasp about the mechanics of space. Perhaps one day we will be able to locate alien life, or even establish colonies on other planets. But even then, we may never know exactly how many more mysteries lie hidden within the immeasurable expanse of the Milky Way and beyond. But what do you make of these fascinating space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.